See what you got. I don't got no starter fluid. Nope. That's not how the pros do it. Don't worry about that. How they do it. How's it going guys? What can I say? Um, once again, getting distracted, brought home some junk that I uh, don't have time to mess with. But I'm hoping this white car will turn out and actually go together kind of quick. The red car has been totaled. Um, the engine in it is still good. It's got like 70,000 miles on the clock. I'm hoping that's correct. Kind of looks like it. You never know though. The white car, the motor is seized up um, and it's been kind of like halfway parted out, but it's not bad. Between the two, I have the parts I need to, um, to put them both together. Um, so that's game plan. The white car, I'm going to um, pull the engine out, put the engine, or yeah, pull the engine out of the red car, put it in the white car. Hopefully have something to go to some track days and stuff like that and uh, have a little fun with why I'm building the uh, two FDs. So, yep, I'm gonna flip this thing around, give y'all a close look up uh, at them, geez, and uh, let y'all see what we got going on. Uh, a little glary, hope you guys can kind of make this out. We'll start with the white one. Um, if you hadn't noticed already, white is like my favorite color. My truck is white, my V8 car is white, uh, my street bike is white. Um, just really stands out just uh, makes everything look good I guess but yeah it's a little glary so I hope you can make it out um, but all the stuff for the front the headlights and everything they actually come with the car I have a bumper cover that's from like I don't even know which one I don't think either one of these actually um, so I'll throw that on there this little piece is missing on the car but it's on the red one so that's good. Um, cars are really, really, really dirty. It's like the guy just threw stuff inside of them. And this window is cracked, so it rained in it, so it smells like an old foot. But it's not that bad. I've definitely dealt with worse and made it come out looking pretty good. So I'm hoping I can have the same result with that. But I don't know much about 350Zs. I just know they're like really good platforms, like everybody uses them. Parts are everywhere, they're cheap. I actually had uh, things like the Track Edition, the blue car, or the blue 350Z. And I really, really enjoyed that car. Like it was awesome. It was like, it's comfortable to drive, it made good power. Um, so from my experience, it's been all good with 350Zs. I've actually really like them, so. Looking forward to having another one. I sold the the blue one that I had to uh, to buy the Monte or buy the uh, rotary powered FD actually. So since I don't, don't really have the money to buy a nice 350Z, this is what I'm about. You buy junk that no one wants and you make it into a good car, which that's the game plan anyway. So we'll see how that works out. <laughs> this thing is all twisted up, like the arms in the back are bent. I think there's like one of the arms are missing on the white car, but hopefully it'll be okay on this one. Um, once again, sorry for the, the sun and the glare. But this is just to show y'all uh, how I keep making mistakes that prevent me from building the car that I want to build, which is the V8 car. It's not too bad. I think this should go together relatively quick, is what I'm hoping. And they both have like have some good parts on them. Like, I don't forgot what it's called, but that's um, an exhaust. Uh, I don't know who makes it. And the white car has like a 
has an exhaust on it, lowering springs, so. Yep. So first, oh, and like the brakes are, the brakes are missing, but like I so said, the red car has them, so I'll, uh, I'll probably the first video be taking the brakes off of this guy and put them on this guy. And that rear control arm is missing. Hopefully it's in good shape on this one. If not, I'll just buy like some fancy adjustable ones or something, I don't know. And so get that and get it back together as like a functioning roller, which will be the first goal. Um, take the center console and radio and all that stuff out of the wrecked car. And throw it into here, clean everything, because it is just really, really nasty and I can't stand to be sitting in a dirty car it drives me crazy um, but everything works on this thing like all the electronics which is pretty good um, struts don't work which I don't think they worked on my other car either I can't remember but yeah I don't want to ramble too much um, just kind of wanted to show you all these before I started actually doing stuff like cleaning them up and all that so but, yep we'll start there we'll jack this thing up pull the wheels and I'll probably be on like another video or something but all right guys see you on the next one